Hey everybody, Max here. I figured I'd do a quick little AGT vlog while I continue working on the season finale vlog for my double X Box Max show. But yeah, just figured I'd do an AGT vlog because I was watching America's Got Talent last night. I was really impressed with a lot of the talent on the show. There were some acts that I didn't think did all that great, but most of them did do really good. And in a few minutes, I'm going to share my favorite acts with you, and then the acts that I hope will make it through tonight. As well as the ones that Dylan, my nephew Dylan, thinks will make it through. Got some of the same ones, but he actually picked two that I don't really think should make it through, but he seems to think will make it through. But before I get to that, I figured I'd basically talk about how I was a little bit disappointed with last night's episode. And the reason for that was I, th I thought for sure this was going to be the week that Melissa Bia Senor was going to be making her big debut at her quote unquote next performance on HET, which unfortunately didn't happen last night, but it's like they say, save the best for last, and Melissa B is one of the best, so I guess it shouldn't surprise me too much that they moved her to the last week of the semi-finals, because she is one of the best on the show, and I can't wait to see her next performance. Really hoping to make it through Melissa V next week. Wish I could vote for you, but like I said before in my one of my previous videos, unfortunately, voting ain't open to Canadian residents. It's only open to American residents, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, I can understand why they only have it open to U.S. residents, because it's a U.S. show. It's actually one I'm looking forward to Canada's Got Talent, because when they have that on, I'll actually be able to vote on some of the acts, and it'll be nice to see what they got, what kind of acts and talent they got on that show. But yeah, anyway, like I was recently saying, I did watch AGT last night. There was some pretty good acts. One of the ones... I still don't think she'd make it through was that Mauricio guy, and I know I say that a lot, but honestly, as a singer, this guy doesn't have any talent whatsoever. I mean, I know plenty of people that could sing way better than him that aren't even professional singers. So it just goes to sh that factor alone just goes to show you how badly of a singer this guy has to be if I have people I know that can sing better than him. I mean, honestly, I'll admit, yeah, the guy's really funny, but the guy's not going through at for going through on the show as a comedian, he's going through as a sinner. I mean, as a sinner, I don't think he has what it takes to make it all the way to the finals, and I don't think he deserves to be in the finals. As a comedian, if he was going through his comedian, I'd say, yeah, sure, definitely, you should send him through to the finals, because as a comedian, he does, he is pretty funny, but as a singer, he's absolutely horrible. I don't get why people even vote for him, but it just goes to show you some people out there don't know real singing talent when they see it. And I know some of you I'm probably going to offend by saying that, but you know what? It's nothing personal, but for someone to think that, Mar that Mauricio guy on AGT this season actually has singing talent, they got to be either tone deaf or they just don't know what good music is. And I apologize to those of you who I just offended by saying that, but... Honestly, it's just the way I feel. I'm entitled to my own opinion, and that's just the way it is. So yeah, I figured I'd figure now that at this point I'll move on to what the acts I'm hoping will make it through tonight, and the acts that my nephew Dylan's hoping will make it through tonight. For both our cho four top four choices, we both have Lando Eugene Murphy Jr. 
and it's no, and it should be no surprise to anyone why I think that he deserves to go through. I mean, the guys, it's why I've said it before, and I'll say it even here again, the guy's the next black Frank Sinatra. I mean, the guy sings amazing, he sounds like a black version, he sounds like a, another version of Frank Sinatra, and I'm pretty sure that if Frank Sinatra were still alive, even he'd be saying that he's like the splitting image of him. The only difference is he's black and Frank Sinatra was white. But yeah, the guy's a great sinner, and if he doesn't get voted through tonight, I honestly will be surprised because he's one of the few sinners on that show that deserves to make it through without a shadow of a doubt. Well, the few solo sinners, I guess I should say. But yeah, my second choice, and this was my nephew's, one of my nephew's second, this was also my nephew's second choice, was the group by the name of Pop Life. And the reason I think the group should make it through is the fact that they're really talented musicians. They do really great at covers. And, truth be told, I actually think the lead singer chick, I can't remember what her name is off the top of my head, I actually think she's kind of cute, to be honest. And that girl can really belt a tune. She's got some really amazing pipes on her. Now, basically, my two, last two choices were different than my nephew's, obviously, and I'll get to his choices in a minute, but for my third and fourth choices, I chose Professor Splash and the Shabazz Boys. I hope I said that name right. I apologize to the Shabazz Boys if I pronounced the name of your band wrong. Totally didn't mean to do that. I'm just not really sure how to pronounce it, but anyway, Professor Splash, honestly, this guy is absolutely nuts, and I kid you not, this guy's absolutely nuts, but you want know, to know something? I love every minute of it. The guy is insane. Like last night, the guy literally went like 32, I think it was like 32 something, something feet in the air, and belly flopped into a pool with like 12 inches of water. I mean, that's just, it. one, that's just insane. And two, for a guy to have a, the guts to do something like that is just incredible on, in itself. And from what I was told last night on HET, he even set a world record. So congratulations, Mr. Professor Splash. Definitely a fan of yours. I hope you make it through. And I'm especially hoping you make it through because of what you said last night about how you're going to add fire element to your next act, which that should be really interesting to see if you make it on. And lastly, the Shabash, the Shabash boys. And the reason they're on my top four is because they're talented, they're freaking adorable. I mean, don't get me wrong, and I say that from a non-gay standpoint. So, but yeah, they are adorable. They're really adorable. They can sing, and they, all three of them, the three kids in the band, they all have talent. They all have like amazing rapping talent. I mean. Anyone who sees them has got to admit, those kids have skills when it comes to rapping. I don't know how you can honestly say that they don't have skills, but anyone who does say that, I think they need to get their heads screwed on because those kids do have skills. And I hope they make it on because they really are a really great act. They're a really great group together. And be interested to see what they do next if they do make it on. Anyway, as I said, I would get to my nephew's choices, which I'll get to them now. Basically, from my nephew's third and fourth choices, he has the Summerlin Skippers, and then he has the Perfect Angels. Now, I can see why my nephew voted these guys in, because they are impressive for jump roping skipper type people. 
and their tricks are impressive, but the reason I don't think these guys sh the reason I disagree with my nephew on this as to why they should get voted through, as to why they shouldn't get voted through, is basically because the whole skip rope thing, it's been done like three or four times before by other groups. There's like plenty of jump rope people around the world, so it's not like, and from what I've seen of the skip, summer wind skippers, they don't bring anything unique that I haven't seen in any other jump rope contests. They do do awesome tricks, <laughs> do do, but yeah, they do awesome tricks, but they don't bring anything unique to the table. And it's the same with the Perfect Angels, pretty much. I mean, yeah, the girls in the group are smoking hot, don't get me wrong, and these girls can really dance, but there's nothing unique about them. I mean, if you're going to make it big in a show like America's Got Talent, you got to show off something that no one's ever seen before, and like some kind of performance that no one's ever seen before. And don't get me wrong, ladies, your moves are great, but... I don't think you have what it takes to get to the finals, and that's just my personal opinion on that. It's nothing personal, but yeah. So yeah, I'm hoping Landau, Pop Life, Professor Splash, and the Shabash boys. Ah, I keep kind of messing it up there when I say it, but I'm hoping they make it through. I'm going to do a little reaction video tonight to show my reactions to the various people who get through and what I and give my own personal thoughts on those reactions on my decam. The video quality probably won't be the greatest on my decam, and I have, I'll apologize for that ahead of time. But yeah, I'm going to do my reactions, probably have my dad's reactions too. Or at least I'd like to anyway. But yeah, this has been a double X vlog of this has been a vlog of Max, an HET vlog of Max, I guess you should say. And I know I said it was going to be short, but from the looks of it, I'm up to 12, 24, 25 now. So yeah, I guess it didn't end up being short, but anyway, this is. I'm Max Callan, this has been an AGT vlog of Max, and I'll see you later people, hope you enjoy tonight's show, because I'm sure I will, at least I hope I will anyway.